welcome back to another video. I'm Taquana, also known as Q, and today I'm going to show you my boot collection. These are like my favorites of my boot collection. I have a few new items in. Some of you may have seen it in maybe a haul or a style video or something. I'm not sure. But yeah, so I'm going to try them on and show you what I have. All right, first up we have these Ugg boots. I've never worn these, but you always, if you live in winter climate, like climates that snow, you need to get the kind with the hard bottom because the other ones are going to be dogged in that snow. So we'll see how these wear over the winter. Also, Amazon, you got to get you some of these because if I don't put nothing in these boots, look how they're going to they gonna be sad. And you can't have sad boots because it's going to wrinkle. I mean, they probably already wrinkle at the ankle, but... I just didn't like how that, that boot was doing. You can get probably, how much are these? Eight pair, 16 of these things for, eight pair, 16 of these things for, I wanna say like $16.99 on Amazon. I'm gonna link it down below. Okay, next we have these other pair of Uggs. I told y'all I was an Ugg girl. Um, and these are cold weather snow boots with the hard bottom. These are all leather, so, these are really like my snow boots when I'm just like trucking it through the snow because it doesn't snow 12 inches. These, these are the uh, ones I wear. I don't wear them that often, but when I do, and they have a little fur on them, they have a lace detail. I don't think they make these anymore. I know the first pair, they, all, they still make those, but I don't think they make these anymore. Next, my old faithful. These Uggs are the Uggs and I think they're tall Uggs. And I normally wear them folded down just because I like that Sherilyn look. And I really like um, the Uggs with all the Mongolian fur on them. So, yeah, I normally wear mine like this. Just fold it down, that's all. Same boot, fold it down. These are the Daily Runners, can you tell? I do want to get some of those platform um, Ugg boots that are out now, but I want mine in black. Cause I'm debating on if I'm gonna wear it. They probably, got, they probably not comfortable for work, but we'll see. Next we have these mini Uggs with the fur around. I'm really into fur, I, I, I uh, can see. But I don't wear these often because these are hard to put on. This little toe box, I mean like the insert part is hard to like maneuver. Maybe because it's short, I'm not sure. But yeah, these are another pair of these see you see how these will get dogged if you wear them in the snow yeah next we have the moon boot not your ordinary boot i bought these on farfetch i don't know if they were actually on the site or not but i'm very thirsty to wear these um so i really need to go to like denver as no yeah denver or aspen or uh, the North Pole so I can wear my boots but yeah these are very cute and I like that they have the cream at the bottom I really want the white moon boot with the faux fur so those are the ones I didn't see them on the site and what I like most is that this little detail you can tie this around oh this probably Come in handy for some reason, huh? But yeah, you can tie it how you want to tie it. So I just thought these were different from the other ones with just the laces. And I think I wear a size 38 because these run different, like from like a 38 to a 41. And they're pretty comfortable too. All right, next we have uh, my rain boots. I have these, uh, these are very, very old because they don't even make these with the laces anymore. These probably from like maybe 10 years old. When Hunter boots really started popping is when I bought these. And they're nice. I still get compliments on it. I can use some, um, what is it called? Like the stuff to make them shiny. I can use a little kit on these. I should take them to the shoe guy so to see what they can do with them but yes love these i have these in red but they just not my favorite so i ain't add them i don't have those i have rain boots that are red hunter boots 
Next we have the Doc Martens. Now these are the women's. I do have a kids that I'm gonna show you. And what I don't like about Doc Martens or these particular ones, and I don't know if it's just these uh, because the leather is soft, is that they droop. Like they don't keep the structure of the boot. And I don't like that, but yeah, these are very nice. Classic staple boot, combat boot. That's not that expensive. And then I have the patent leather one in kids. The kids ones have a little zipper on the side. It's a little childish, a little childish, but I really like these. These are the ones I like the most. I really want to get these in hunter green and navy blue. So next we have these Louis Vuitton combat boots. These were a gift. I don't normally wear these um, with this logos and stuff showing because this just really isn't my style. But they were a gift, and um, yeah, I think it's the heart that really like make it like girl. But I wear these like with um, jeans over them and like cuffed. So, yeah, but they, they just have like the Louis Vuitton. You, if you didn't know, you wouldn't know. And then they have like the little logo blue thing right here. But yeah. Next, we have these over the knee boot. Kind of like cowboy boot flats. But they got a, like a kitten heel on them. So these boots look like the jeans that have the leather at the bottom. I don't know if they're connected or not. Or is it just leather with the, the jeans? But anyway, these come all the way up my thigh and I got big thighs, so these fit me and they stretch. And if they're still available, I'll link them down below, but they're not the most comfortable boot. They're flats, but they're not, maybe you need to put an insole in it. I'ma try that because your feet hurt on these because the because of the bottom okay next we have these platform boots from shuts shoots shuts i don't know how y'all however y'all pronounce it but um i bought these because i like to wear long jeans like long bell bottoms long wide legs and i don't want them cut to my height i want them to be long and i just want to be taller so I bought these, they usually are covered up, like the peak, all the, the, the whole box, everything is usually covered when I do wear these, but these are necessary for the short girls, for the height, without hemming your jeans and your pants and, but mainly on wide legs, because these are a little bit, um, can be stiff because the shaft is so like tall and it's given like 70s with the heel, but these are necessary, at least for me, for my wardrobe. Um, next we have my BCBG boots with the back out, ankle boot with the back out, and they have fur on them. These are a pair of my favorites that like I probably would never get rid of unless, well, y'all saw me if y'all watched one of those vlogs. Um, if you watched the vlog where I got the uh, footbed replaced on them. But yeah, not gonna let these go if I don't have to. So that's that. Next we have my so Kate lock so Kates. These need to count their days. What I don't like about these is when you step into those cracks, you break your mama back. No, <laughs> you, the little things come off. So I have to take these to the repair man so I can get, they do come with extra what are they called i'm gonna call them feet um it comes with extra so i need to have those replaced but these aren't the most uncomfortable boot either like you can't walk miles in them but they're not as uncomfortable as some say they are maybe it's the shoes that they really think are uncomfortable but i don't have any of those next we have my white jeffrey campbell boots i love these boots I think I the what I like the most is because they're slouch, but they're not slouchy, if you mean. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's structured like that. Like, they made them to look slouch. And yeah, I opted for the white. I think these came in like green, red. The red looked a little cheap. Red boots sometimes can look a little like cheap or cheesy. But yeah, 
these are a staple i probably won't be getting rid of these unless i come you know find some fire ones you see like just the shape of them all is really really cute skirts jeans tuck your like jeans inside too cute like a um seven no 80s look it remind if y'all watch raising canaan it remind me of some boots uh the mother would wear next we have my white over the knee slouch boots from amazon now these boots are cute I'm gonna see if they have other colors. Cause I like the um, shape of the heel. But one caveat is <laughs> uncomfortable. But we're not trying to be comfortable. We're trying to be cute in white boots. If you wear white boots, you definitely trying to be cute. So yeah, these are a pair of my favorites. Next we have these Gianni Beanie cowboy over the knee boots. Now these boots, I don't, I may have worn once because they're stiff. I bought these when Dillard's had their sale. You know the shoe sale like New Year's Eve or I don't know if it's New Year's, New Year's Day sale. I don't know if they are still doing that since COVID, but yeah, I bought these for like $40. They was probably like two something. But yeah, it's probably faux crocodile. It's not real. I don't even know if these are real leather, but I just feel like I needed them in my wardrobe. And it was forty dollars, so why not? Next, we have these brown boots from Zara. These are very pricey. They're probably sold out by now because you you all know you can't keep anything. They can't keep nothing on the shelves. But um, I love these. I can't wait to wear them. I just styled them up in some videos, but I haven't worn them outside because I really haven't been anywhere. Um, but yeah. So I wanted to get more brown in my wardrobe and add more brown items. So I bought these. And these are like casual, but dressed, but they're like a gator boot. So just like have a lot of style to them. So yeah, I like these a lot. And confession, I'm a little obsessed with that gator fake shark boot. Like I'm obsessed with the look. So. We bought these from Steve Madden. Granted, they're a little shiny, but I like them. The heel is, it's probably like a three inch heel. And that's what I like about those gator boots too, because the heel ain't that high, but it's giving you still that like, je ne sais quoi. But yeah, so these are pointy toe gator boot. And I bought these in the eight and a half because the review said that they ran small and the eight and a half works. I usually wear eight, works great for me. And yeah, they're just this chocolate brown. They're not as yellow. It's more like a burgundy brown than a yellow brown, if that makes sense. Like a red brown opposed to the, those Zara ones are like a yellow brown. But yeah, these are the boots. Next we have, these are the Zara boots. These are the ones that I love the most out of all the boots that I've purchased this uh, winter season, fall, winter. These are the ones. They're so cute. They're so stylish. They're over the knee. They're uh, big calf friendly, wide calf friendly, because my legs are big. And it doesn't give me that squish. I'll show y'all some boots. Um, these next Stuart Weissman boots give me that muffin top at the top of my boots because they're thigh high and yeah these don't give you that and they're pointy toe and just very stylish and they were expensive and they're sold out i'm sorry okay here are the Stuart weissman i bought these in toronto last year for new year like i went there for like new year's day and i don't think the color coming up good like it's so these are hard to style because it's not a royal blue, but it's not really purple either. So you gotta really like match it up or wear like a solid color and then have the boots be the pop of color. But yeah, I'm trying to find more ways to wear it. And in my climate, you can't really wear these outside because they're gonna get salty. And you don't want that. So I don't know when I'm gonna be able to wear these. But yeah, these are nice, cute. They do stretch a lot, but my just legs are just big. And they give me that, once it gets to the top, 
that squish like thigh meat come over it. <laughs> if y'all could, if y'all understand what I'm saying. Last but not least, I thought I was counted out. I thought I was counted out, but they re-released them and I got me a pair. $100. The best part of these boots from Zara, the kitten heel. This heel is so tiny. These boots are made for walking. You see how tall, tiny the heel is? But it's just so stylish and chic and it's really for girls with longer legs than mine. Cause they, I feel like mine are a little squished up cause I'm short, but I don't care. I'm, they still look good. And yeah, the best buy, they were only a hundred dollars too. I don't know if they're real leather or not. I didn't even, it didn't matter to me, but, but yeah, I wanted these. And I got them. So that completes my boot collection or collection of the boots that I like the most. I have other boots in there, but they didn't make the cut. So if you all know any other stores that I may have not mentioned that I should be looking at for boots or like trying on boots and have some good styles. I know Sam Elderman I probably should look at, but let me know. Comment down below uh, where you all get your boots from. And please like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss a video. And until the next video, keep it cute.